Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Today. It's me, Ella. Um, today I wanted to hop on here and share with you things I made this past week. I have everything with me except one uh, amigurumi that sold at my craft fair this past uh, Saturday. <laughs> but I will insert a picture of it. All these patterns will be linked below if there are patterns. I think there's three that I made um, that didn't have patterns. It was just things I, you know, winged. <laughs> but anyways, I got my list here. Um, and... I got them all in here in a little cube. <laughs> so let's get into it. So half of these I made last week prepping for my market. And the other half I made yesterday. <laughs> I had like a crocheting bug I guess yesterday. And I wanted to um, make. So I sat down and made a bunch of stuff. So I'm just going to start with the first thing on my box here. And it is another one of my turtles. Ta -da! I didn't use a pattern for this. It's just... They're kind of, after you make a few, they're kind of easy to just wing, you know, make them your own little thing. So for this one, I did make the flippers first, and then I started with the shell. Well, I made the flippers in the head, and I started with the shell, and then um, I crocheted the flippers in the head on as I made the shell in the belly. <laughs> um, and then afterwards, I used a long tail I left on the head to pin it to the shell to keep it from being all floppy. And then at the very end, I added a little... <laughs> um, but yeah, this is just some Bernat blanket scraps I had. I think they're both faded blanket. I know this one's called Sand, but I don't remember what this one's called. But I just had some scrap balls, and I thought I was wondering if it was enough to make a turtle, and it was. <laughs> so I made this little turtle. He almost got bought at my craft fair. A little girl picked him up, and she wanted him so bad. She actually already paid me for him, and she was standing there with her, I guess, siblings or cousins and mom and other grown-ups. <laughs> There's a whole group of people that came at once. And uh, she was super excited about the turtle, but then she, as she got to look around, she was changing her mind. You know, I could see her changing her mind. So, um, she asked if she could change her mind, and I told her she could. Um, so, I gave her her 20 back <laughs> for the turtle. She gave me the turtle back, and she was looking around, looking around. And then she ended up buying the rose turtle, I'm pretty sure. It's It was smaller than this, but it looks like it has a rose in its back, which is also $20. So, she still spent her $20, but she just wanted to swap out what she bought. <laughs> so, um... It was just cute. Uh, I don't mind for little kids like that changing their mind as long as they're not like dirty. <laughs> Holding, you know, everybody's getting them dirty. But uh, yeah, so he'll find his home eventually. But for now, he's still with me. <laughs> and I did make um, some cats. Uh, loaf cats, I think they're called. I don't have a pattern for one. I have a pattern for like a little version. And um, I made that before. And I sold it actually, I think at my Christmas craft market. Or maybe the Eastern one, I can't remember. But I wanted to make some of the bigger loaf cats like everybody else is making. Um, so I made one for a national holiday, I think. Last week or week before that. And it was a black cat. That one did sell at my um, craft market. So I'll pop up a picture of it. Um, and then I made two out of Bernat Blanket. This one is made out of Bernat Blanket brides. And he does have a nose and whiskers. I just used like an orange color so that it went. <laughs> but um, I didn't really use a pattern for this. I just... You know, they're kind of easy to make. <laughs> you can tell by just looking at the pattern, you know, that they increased. And I did a crochet on the ears. It's just some stitches in the front loop only. And then the little feet are just uh, bubbles. And then the tail, I just, at towards the end, I just um, chained up a certain amount, I don't even remember, and crocheted it back down and then finished closing. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty easy. I did start with eight single crochet to keep it, um, a little bit flatter. If I'd started with six, it might have poked out a little bit. Sometimes it happens when you start with like six. Um, I've learned that over the years to start with eight or sometimes 12 if you want it to be flat on top. But uh, So I made this orange one and then this one is made out of Bernat Blanket Extra. <laughs> this one was kind of um, hard to do because it's such a big yarn and I used a, I think a 10 millimeter hook. So my hands were sore just because I'm not used to working with stuff like that. Um, but I made him out of the brown color. I still haven't fixed that little spot there. It's just where you can see the tail. I just gotta hide it. <laughs> but he's got black. This is just worsted weight black. The eyes also are stitched on with blanket, um, scrappy bits. And he's basically the same as this cat. I don't know if I made them exactly the same because I didn't write down my pattern. Like this one, I think, has more stomach rolls, but it's because this one is bigger yarn. This is a size 7, this is a size 6. Uh, but they're both adorable. They both got a lot of attention. And then the black one did get bought. I forgot about that black one temporarily. <laughs> so two things that I made recently got 
ball at my craft market which i have a video about if you haven't seen it it's the one right before this one uh recapping that market okay next is some little dinosaurs i, I really like making the brontosauruses i enjoy making that pattern and they seem to be pretty popular uh i've made eight all together and i've sold five of them <laughs> so i only have two left uh they seem to be pretty popular with the littler kids and so i, I want to start making some more um like a t-rexy type dinosaurs and uh maybe stegosauruses but i feel like there's a lot of little things on the back <laughs> and uh triceratops i made one triceratop once and then i made i've made some little tiny um t-rex like ones and then i made these ones <laughs> This is the same pattern I made before that was small. I just used a size 5 yarn. This is a size 6. This is Bernat yarn. This is a Bernat blanket, the green color. The brown is just regular Bernat. I haven't been... Oh, yeah. Those other ones didn't have patterns. This one doesn't have a pattern. This one is by... Uh, it's on Instagram. It's a free pattern by Nicole Crochets. So I made this one, and then I made one opposite. That's why this one's a little shorter. It's because the green is Bernat baby blanket, which is just a smidge thinner than regular blanket. I made them, and then I made a yellow one. <laughs> this is Bernat Blanket Bright, and then that regular Bernat Green right there. So they did get a lot of attention. They almost got bought a few times, but I did sell one of the Brontosauruses at my recent craft market. Uh, and I'm sure these little guys will go eventually. I want to make some more uh, different color ones, you know. These are just scraps I had on hand, <laughs> um, but I like to make a bunch of bright color ones. I wish I could find a good pattern for a T-Rex shaped me that's comes out like bigger so I'm on I'm gonna look for one of those but maybe one that's not too tedious to make all right what's next okay the next thing that I made that sold at my market was a flamingo it's a brand new pattern by Darla Maple Designs she just put it out a few days ago a week ago ish maybe uh and it's a flamingo did I already say that it's a really cute little flamingo I just happened to see it on my feed on Friday night the night before my um market and I had some yarn beside me in my craft cart and I was like I'm gonna make the flamingo tonight so we was watching classic cartoons a dvd that we bought that has cartoons from like the 30s and 40s and I sat there and crocheted that flamingo <laughs> I will insert a picture because it sold at the craft market and um, I want to make more flamingos because um they seem to be real popular right now and a couple people ask for them you know so I want to make some more of those just to have around <laughs> but it was a really cute design I liked it a lot it's completely no so except the beak uh, but the designer did it two ways. If you don't enjoy doing that where you sell the pieces or you um, crochet the pieces on, she has it also where you she tells you where to sew them on at. So that's nice. But it works up pretty quick. I enjoyed making it and I think it turned out really cute. And I used a whole array yarns for it. Let's see here. The body and the feet were um, and the wings were perfectly chunky. The beak was made out of a little, the pink, the lot pale pink was um, perfectly chunky. The black and white are, um, I think it was just yarn, just Chanel, by Premier, I think. <laughs> also in the pattern, the little feathers on the top were not part of the pattern. I just, when I got it done, I felt like it needed something on top. <laughs> so I just did the little feather loops, very similar to its tail. It has the same kind of tail on the back. <laughs> okay, now yesterday morning, I got up and I had like energy. <laughs> I had rested uh, Saturday night and Sunday from my market, which it takes a lot out of you, really having to talk to so many people and watch things and it was windy on and off that day so I was catching things and so I recovered I recuperated <laughs> so now um yesterday I was like I'm gonna crochet some stuff so I just grabbed I have some a lot of partially used skeins of like perfect chunky and um just Chanel and stuff like that in a container so I was just pulling out of there and making stuff so the first thing I pulled out was a green color and I was like I'm gonna make some pickles because I haven't made pickles in a while and I feel like people might like pickles <laughs> uh, I made some worsted weight pickles uh, last year and I never did sell any in person I don't think I'll, all, all of them I ended up selling them on my Etsy shop <laughs> but these ones are size 5 yarns so I feel like maybe people would like these ones so I sat down with my perfect chunky uh, scrap of a green ball and I made 3 pickles this isn't a pattern it's just um, kind of easy to just do you know I just start with a uh, 6, 12, 18, and then I just do random rolls of single crochet solidly around, and then every now and then I just throw in like a bobble stitch. So, and they come out straight, but if you, you can kind of bend them to make them look like pickles, you know, the way they kind of bent. So, um, 
I think they're cute. I'd like to make a bunch of these. I want to make some that's a little bit bigger with like blanket yarn. I don't have any green, a lot of green blanket yarn. I'll go get some more. <laughs> um, I just think it'd be cute. I'll probably put faces on these, but I never know. They're just pickles. I'll make pickles. And then I, I've been wanting to make a corn on the cob. <laughs> and um, I didn't have yellow and green, the right colors, yellow and green, in the same type of size five, size six yarns. So what I did is I made this one. He's so cute. I just love him. I don't, he doesn't have a face yet, but I'm going to put a face on him. The yellow is um, Just Chanel by Premier. And the green was my last little bit of the Parfait Chunky in this green, which I love this green. It's such a pretty green. I think it's called um, Kiwi or Key Lime or something. I can't remember. But it's such a pretty um, green. I love it. So um, it's two different yarns, but it worked out. Boop, and it comes out. The difference is I did have to increase this one more round to fit. I don't know if, because I feel like this just now is thinner than Parfait Chunky. But also, I may have overstuffed the corn. <laughs> but he comes out, which I think is cute. And these do move. A lot of times people like stuff that's interactive. And this is a pattern by Becky's Plushies on Instagram. I get a lot of patterns off Instagram. <laughs> There's a lot of them on there for free. So I, I just happen to scroll through it a lot and um, find cute patterns. But I want to make more of these corns. I don't know if they're going to be popular though, but I love them. <laughs> I want to make maybe three or four for like markets. And then maybe one for myself. <laughs> But I just think it's so pretty. It'd be pretty to make like a dried up looking corn too, you know. The dark colors. <laughs> but um, it's just cute. I just love him. He's going to be so cute with a little face. And then I was digging around in my scrap ball container again yesterday. And I found a scrap ball of the this yarn I was using. It is Bernat Baby Blanket. But I can't remember what the color is. And I was like, I'm going to make a leggy frog. <laughs> so again, on Instagram, I found a pattern for a leggy frog by... Kind Maker Crochet. These all be linked below. I made like a frog. I didn't really like this pattern a whole lot though because you make the body first, actually start down here and go up. And then you make the legs separately and attach them. <laughs> I prefer the kind where you just, you know, like as you crochet and you chain, you do the foot and you go back up. But this did make them skinnier because these are just chains instead of chains with single crochets or slip stitches. Um, it was okay pattern. I love his little floppy legs. I was watching True Crime shows while watching or while making these. He needs eyes and a little mouth. <laughs> but I think he's cute. He came out cute shape. I like the square leggy frogs. Ooh. My favorite one is the one by Joe's Web. I think he's so cute. But uh, I do like the square ones too. But I made him. So this scrap ball, I'm trying to remember how much was left. I think there's uh, like that much left of this color. And then the last thing I made yesterday <laughs> before I had to start doing, you know, stuff around the house is a little flamingo <laughs> and his eyes but um this is another free pattern that came out uh on youtube this one is by craft skull boom craft Girls, craft skull bloom she has a lot of free patterns and a lot of them are birds that are this shape um but different birds you know but she has a lot of cute patterns this is the first one i made by her but i've been following her on youtube for a while and i have a bunch of her patterns saved in a playlist that i want to make eventually and I just happened to sit down and make this penguin. A penguin. <laughs> Flamingo. Okay, his little uh, legs are made out of parfait. Uh, no, 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 no. It's Dolphin Baby. It was a scrap of Dolphin Baby that I was gifted. Um, I just thought it was a good leg color for a flamingo. The body is made with Juicy Couture. Uh, the pink. I've had three skins of it that was also gifted to me. And I've been kind of hoarding it because it's so pretty. And um, I was like, that would make a cute, sparkly little flamingo. The little nose or beak is made out of just little bits of um, Premier Just Chanel. <laughs> I have a lot of Premier Just Chanel and Bernat Blanket in black and white beside my craft area in a basket. Um, a lot of it's just strands from my leftover pieces that I used to do noses and eyes and stuff with. So his little beak and it's got shaping for the little tail which is cute. It's actually, you know, it's shaped out which woo, I like. <laughs> But he's so sweet. I just love him. She has a pattern for... I feel like she has a bigger flamingo. Maybe maybe I'm thinking of a different person. <laughs> but I will link her channel below. It's really nice. She's got a lot of um, cute tutorials. And you know, they're all free because they're on YouTube. And she sells patterns as well. But it's just so sweet. Just look at it. It's going to be so cute with eyes on there. I feel like I maybe should have made the legs longer. Because flamingos do have longer legs. After I attached them, I thought that. So if I make more, I might um, just chain a little bit more. Because you chain up. 
some do the little toes <laughs> and then you go back so um i might make the legs longer but it's still adorable anyways and actually the woman who bought the big flamingo at my craft fair she was looking for a small one <laughs> i only had the big one so she bought it which is good for me you know but um it'd be nice to have little little ones on hand but he's just adorable i just love him anyways that's all i've been crocheting this week i did also finish weaving in the ends on that baby blanket i made the corner the corner one and also finished weaving in the ends on my Halloween cardigan. So that was yesterday morning. Early, early yesterday morning. Um, so I got that done. I was pretty proud of myself. And so now today, I don't know what I'm going to make. <laughs> I got to start on a, a project that's for a collaboration. And um, my whole inventory is behind you. I got. I want to go through it and make sure it's all up to date in my square and stuff. So I'm going to do that. Maybe today. <laughs> Probably today because I got some of it pulled out. And I don't want the kids messing with it. Because um, I had to dig out these cats. And, um, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to crochet today. I'm, I may not crochet today. I may just focus on other stuff and then start back crocheting tomorrow. <laughs> Who knows? But I will see you guys tomorrow. Right? It's Wednesday. So, tomorrow I'll see you for Whip Wednesday and also the second week of Battle of the Stitches. So, come back for that if you want to. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.